Um, that's interesting. <laughs> Hello everybody, we are back here and for the first time ever we are playing Pro Deer Hunting 2. Now this game just came out and I saw it on Steam so I figured we will give it a try. Now, based off the trailer that they have on Steam, it looked to be okay looking. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out though. It looked better than the first one. They have put out a game in the past that was one of those ones where it looked promising but just didn't quite capitalize on everything it could have so I'm hoping this one's going to be better. If it is you guys might see more of it on the channel but based on what I can see it kind of reminds me of some of the older Deer Hunter games but with a little bit more updated graphics. Uh, not super updated it still isn't super great looking but it looks decent enough and the deer models look pretty good so I'm excited to kind of see what they're going to be like in game. So let's start out with Pro Hunt I guess. I'm guessing Action Hunt is more of an arcade thing so we're probably going to go to Pro Hunt first. I already checked all the settings. There's not really too much here. It just tells you the different controls, sensitivities, all that stuff and then graphics but no sound options or anything like that. So at some point we might need to adjust our audio a little bit because there is no options in game for it but Let's jump straight into it and see what this game is like. I'm very interested. Okay, so we actually have four maps to choose from. The Beach Woods, the Snow Fields, Prairie Lands, or Pine Plantation. Honestly, I'm liking the way these are looking. Um, I think we'll start with the fields just so that we can have a better chance of uh, getting something, I guess. Um, binoculars? Oh, we get to kind of choose what we want. Uh, let's go climber stand. Um, current level, rifle qualified, hunt venue, snow fields, objective, harvest any size buck. So we just need one buck. And it looks like we have a rifle for this hunt. This is going to be interesting. I'm curious if this game's going to be any good. I mean, maybe a little low resolution, but I mean, it's not bad. It's better than I was expecting to start off. I guess we'll have to see if we can find something though. Really curious how this is going to go. So I'm not actually sure what I'm looking at right now. I think this is the GPS. <laughs> um, it says hold Q to I guess show the presence of bucks. So I guess that lets us know when there's something somewhat close not sure that, how that's supposed to work but interested to see how this game ends up it doesn't appear to have any type of zoom levels for the scope I also don't see any way to sprint okay so C is the binoculars utilize the climber stand whenever possible being elevated will hide your scent. Okay. I mean, I'm not really seeing any fields yet, at least. And it did say this was a fields type map, snowy fields. So hopefully we can actually find the fields soon. I mean, I gotta say it looks better than that Turkey Hunting Unlimited game that we played a while back. That's for sure. So it's got that going for it. Now, let's see if we can find a buck. I'm curious how that's going to go when we do find one. Fields and open areas are excellent places to hunt for deer. Okay. I think we're actually getting close. This uh, indicator thing on the bottom right, it seems to be a darker shade of orange when I uh, do the little thing with Q. Oh yeah, it's definitely showing up darker. Uh, can we crouch at all? I don't know if we can crouch. I don't think so. Yeah, there's no way to crouch. So that's an interesting design choice. Ooh. Oh, there it is. There's a buck. Oh, we spooked it off. Uh, I have noticed the scope is a little off-center, so that's a little strange, but... I can look past that. If other things are good. 
But right now it's too early in this to actually know how I feel about it. It's definitely close. Little indicator is turning darker orange when I press it. Definitely in this direction. This thing's got to be close. Oh yeah. Super close. Question is where? Oh, there he is. There he is. There's the deer. We got him. We got him down. Okay, so we got our first deer down. Oh, there's another one. Uh, that looks like a doe. We'll let that one go. I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's more passable than hunting sim 1 and 2, honestly. Scored 100, it says. Not bad. What did it say to advance to the next level? I missed that. What did it say? Alright, so I just looked back at the recording and it actually didn't tell me what I need to do in order to advance to the next. It just said that I did advance. So I'm guessing we just leave now or? So I don't know when it happened, but apparently I accidentally ended my recording and uh, yeah, I just spent like 20 minutes hunting on another map and talking about how I'm feeling about the game and now I gotta go over all of it again. But anyway, after that first hunt, it gave us uh, an extra piece of equipment, so we now can have two pieces of equipment instead of just one. And then we hopped onto this Beach Woods map. But this map was having issues with the deer getting outside of the fence, which the fence is the border of the map, so probably not going to jump back into that one. However, let's head to the Prairie Lands. On this one, we were using a shotgun. So I'm curious if it's uh, map specific on what type of gun you get to use. Or if maybe it's random every time you complete a hunt. I mean, I guess we'll see here. But uh, as you guys can see, all gear has been earned. So we now have both of these. And okay, so it is uh, it is still a shotgun. So I guess it's just uh, based off of if you complete a hunt, it gives you the next gun. That's kind of interesting. But anyway, one thing that I wanted to say is I do feel like this game has potential. Right now, it's definitely not in a good place. It's not super great, but it has that potential to be a good game. I mean, the environments are pretty decent. They're definitely passable. And the deer look decent. Their animations are a little bit odd, but... Overall, I could see this being a good game if they put the time into making it the best it can be. Oh, there is a deer right there, actually. Get this guy down. There we go. But yeah, as of now, this game is not amazing, but I could definitely see it being good if they put the time into it that it needs. I don't know if the team is just a single person or if there's an actual dev team behind this game, but... I could definitely see people playing this if they put the time into making it better. We got a, another small buck. Same as the last one, actually. So we advance to the next level. Let's go to the pine plantation, I guess. And now we have muzzle loader. Okay. So we get to use a muzzle loader on this third hunt here. I do kind of like that it cycles you through the weapons so that uh, you're actually forced to use different weapons. And it is iron sights for the muzzleloader. Okay. We got a deer this way. Ooh, I do like the look of this map though. Already liking the look of this map better than the others. This is actually pretty nice. There's a deer near. But where? Just can't see it as of now. Oh, there it is. Another small one. It's another small deer. But it's still a deer. Let's go ahead and take him out if we can. Oh, 
Okay, I actually kind of like the muzzle loader. not gonna lie. <laughs> the reload's a little odd, but that smoke was actually really nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I like the muzzle loader. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Uh, big props for that one. That was nice. Uh, where is the deer? Where did we shoot him? I got so occupied on the, uh, big puff of smoke that I did not even look where he was. Um, I don't think it was that far away, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Yeah, I have no idea where I shot that guy. Um, not a clue. So, uh, that, that's my bad, but man, that smoke. That smoke was nice. All right, so we loaded up into the pine plantation once again so we can try to get one again. Uh, this time I'll actually pay attention to where he goes down. But it doesn't look like we'll have to go too far to find one. In fact, I think he's really close. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a good buck. Oh, we missed, I think. Oh my gosh, that's a much better buck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we actually did it. <laughs> oh, that rag doll was amazing. That was beautiful. Oh, better buck than the last one. He's not huge, but he's better. 122. So we advanced to the next level. I wonder what gun we're going to be using next. I did see from the trailer that there is a bow. I bet the bow is going to be next. And I think we're going to head to the last one, which is Prairie Lands. Or actually, no, we already did Prairie Lands. Um, I guess we'll do Beach Woods. This is the one where I actually did play it, but it bugged out on me. Ooh, Buck Harvest an 8 point minimum. Okay, so the objectives get harder and harder as you go, it looks like. You know, maybe I spoke too soon. This game actually does have a little bit more to it than I thought. It actually looks like your challenges get harder and harder as you go. Not bad. I mean, I think the price tag's a little bit steep at $15, but... Honestly, if you could get this game on sale for like three or four, maybe even five, then... I'd say pick it up. It'll at least give you a few hours of fun. Overall, it's not as bad as I expected it to be. It's certainly not great, but... It does have some cool things, and some fun factor to it. Ooh, there's a deer. There's a deer right there. Uh, that actually looks like a good buck. Yeah, it's a good buck. He's running away though. And I think he might have just gone out of the fence. That's the biggest issue I've noticed with this map. Is they go out of the fence quite a bit. And yeah, that's what happened there. That's unfortunate. That was a pretty good buck. Well, hopefully we can find one just as good over here. It shows this guy is pretty close, but I'm not seeing him as of now. There might even be two here. Based off the size of the blob on the map. He's got to be close. Oh, yep, right there. Uh, we smoked him. I don't know if he was a big enough deer, though. Uh, that was a doe. So the hunt continues on. I guess there's no penalties for shooting the wrong animal. So that's good to know. So it's showing that there's one not that far in front of us and this area is much more wide open so I bet we'll be able to see it. In fact, that might be it bedded right there. I'm not sure how they look when they're bedded so... It looks like it is just a rock, actually. I would like if I could crouch. That's one of my big gripes right now, is I can't crouch. It doesn't allow you to. I would love to be able to crouch to lower my visibility and noise levels. It's another doe. Okay. It's just a doe. It says there's more next to us, though. It's another doe. Oh, that's a big buck. That's a big buck right there. I 
I don't know if we got that. I think we might have. Oh, we did. Oh my gosh, we actually made that shot. Okay. I'm kind of impressed that we hit that. That looked to be a pretty decent deer. So hopefully it'll turn out to be a pretty big one. It looked like it was about the size of that uh, 4x4 we got last time. It said to look for blood. I'm not sure how prominent the blood trails are going to be, but it did say... Oh yeah, there we go. That looks just like the Call of the Wild blood. That's kind of funny. Last time, as we saw, they didn't run far after we wounded it, so... I'm assuming it'll be the same thing here. But the question is, where did it run off to? I guess we're going to have to do a little bit of searching around, but once I find it, we will jump back to the video, but... I don't know where it is. Oh, here he is. We found him. There's our buck, and we got to the next level. This guy's a little bit smaller than the last one we killed. 115 on his score. The last one was 122. This guy's a little bit smaller. Uh, let's advance to the next level, I guess. So far, I definitely like the pine plantation the most. Uh, it's just doing the shotgun again. I don't see any bows, so... I think we're actually probably going to leave it at that for the pro hunts. I want to real quickly jump into action hunt and see what that's like. So we get to choose what we want for this. Um, to make it interesting, let's go with the compound bow. 20 kills. Okay, so this is like an arcade one. Oh, yeah. I see what this is. Wait, how do I, how do I shoot? Oh, you just hold. And then you release and schlocked him. All right. I kind of like how the bow works. Ooh, yeah, that sounds kind of satisfying. It doesn't sound very high quality, but it's still a satisfying sound to hear. Well, that's a big one. Ooh, I can't wait to find one of those in our actual game. Oh my gosh, so they get huge. Oh my gosh. Okay, good to know that these whitetail actually do get big. We just haven't found any in the pro hunt. Kind of cool. Cool little arcade mode. That's a beautiful buck. Wow. I do like the way the big deer look. Is that missed? Must have been too high. I'm guessing it's going to be middle pin for everything. It seems to be that way at least. Not the worst bow I've seen. It's way better than the hunting sim bow hunting. Hunting sim 1 and 2's bow hunting was awful. Um, that's interesting. Are you okay, sir? So we've almost completed this challenge and we still have plenty of time left. Ooh, that ragdoll. Alright. Well, I think that's going to do it for uh, Pro Deer Hunting 2. Let me know if you guys want to see me do this again. I kind of want to do one more episode just so we can try and go for one of those really monster whitetail in the Pro Hunt mode. I think that would be pretty cool if we could eventually find one of them. So I think we'll do at least one more episode just to try and find one. But let me know how you guys thought about this game. It definitely looks like it has some potential. It's definitely nowhere near a great game at the moment. But it has some cool features from what I could see during the like hour that I played it. It definitely has potential and if the developers are watching this video at any point then just know that I do think this game has some potential, and if you guys put in some effort into trying to improve different aspects of it, this game could be really good and it could compete with some of the other hunting games out there. I definitely think that, and it shows potential, it definitely does. 
But if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to click subscribe, hit the like button, and ring the notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also be sure to comment down below with a video idea or just anything that you'd like to tell me in general. If you guys want to see some more of this, what your thoughts and opinions are on it. And yeah, with all that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Peace!